Hello everybody, it's Judge's Free Time here and this is another I Got video again uh, and this is it, I got an air fryer I was going to get a normal fryer but I didn't trust myself with all that oil and shit um, so today I will be using this for uh, obviously frozen fries um, but yeah, I thought I'd let you know that uh, for experience instead of making a long ass video of me you know, boxing and shit what I like and what I dislike um, what I like is is that uh, you know this unit is quite easy to use. You can also do your own presets uh, by just pressing one button, and obviously it will change the temperature and such. Uh, and you won't even need the top presets, but if you want to use them and change them around, it's uh, up to you. Anyway, the cord length is one thing I hate the most. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get this plugged in, turned on. It's, as you can see, look, it, it um, boots up pretty well. Now, I, it's Saturday today, and I normally get a different kind of food altogether. I have my own night, little day of that. But because I'm shopping um, to get this, this crap, um, I hate to have an empty stomach. So to combat that, I normally go to the fish and chip place, but today, I'll be doing this as an ex experiment. I've already done chips in this before, and I've learned through errors exactly what's wrong. So, we're gonna use the very, very best. You would never get the cheapest here. Oh wait, maybe you will. Yes, this is the Tesco brand, right here. So, yeah, there it is, Tesco. Um, I got Tesco because McCain's are just overpriced chips, just like uh, APC UPS batteries that I noticed today. Anyway, let's get this basket out. So that's your basket basically, and um, it's very simple. Um, you can actually eject the basket like this, and um, you know, empty out your food that way. The uh, obviously this is like a drip tray on the bottom. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting anything else there. Just put it in your dishwasher or whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna do some uh, chips. Um, I think I do plenty today. Um, obviously, I ripped the bag very well. I'm gonna put a lot in because it seems to burn them quite fast. Uh, they still haven't made chips easy to get out of the bag. Or in America, you call it fries. Fucking opening, that's irritating. Um, yeah, there we are. There is uh, the chips. Um, what I might do actually is put some oil on them just to give them extra crispiness um, because I'm going to put them in for less time. Now, in my recommendation, 14 minutes is good enough for the thicker fries, or maybe 15 to 20 minutes if you're doing your own. But because these are very thin, like McDonald'sy. Um, I'm going to do them for about 10 minutes, even that's a bit too sceptical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to like do it for like 5 minutes um, and then shake them around, put it back in, set it again for another 5 minutes. So we've ordered them up, put them in and uh, let's set a time for them. As you can see it says 15 minutes. I'm going to use one of the presets, uh, oh wait no I'm not. So you can use the presets, uh, the blue LED is hard to see, but yeah, that's the french fry right there. We're going to change the time, <laughs> as you can tell I can't use this. Anyway, I preset it to uh, french fries, uh, let's change the time. It's irritating that the beep can't be turned off, but hey ho. Uh, and then we're going to set it to 200 because that's what the preset is five minutes and then we'll be back i'll shake the fries and uh we'll see how we go from there oh yeah and if you're wondering what oil i'm using it's some fat oil from the very best quality retailers all right tesco is not sponsoring me um i can make sure of it tesco can be shit 
Right, so it beeps and then it shuts off, but it takes a while to shut off, so you know, we'll do all that. <laughs> if you hear any boinging noises, that's because my phone has a funny chime to it, if you can call that funny. Anyway, uh, wait for this to turn, there we are, it finally turned off. So let's see what we got. Just swirl them around and back on we go. So that was halfway through cooking and we'll set the time again for five minutes and we'll see what we get. And there we are, it beeped again. I thought that you know as well that you don't have to like press any buttons, you can actually slide out the actual frying thing and shake it yourself if you wish to interrupt the process and then pop it back in. It will turn itself back on, so it does have that. So let's see what we got. Oh, looks like it did something. Look at that. Oh, nice. Um, I don't think they're all cooked properly though. Um, do you know what? I might stick that in for another minute. Um, because... One of the chips looks a bit rawer than usual, so... I'm going to stick it on for another minute, but yeah. The chips look like they're, they're cooking nicely. Right, vital uh, rule about this. Make sure that you set the temperature when you're doing it manually because it's set to 80 degrees. Whoopsie daisy. Right, it's done but I'm waiting for it to shut off. Got my plate ready. And I want to show you the detach right in the basket that comes up this thing. Okay. What I like is it does shut off so if you leave it, there's no big problem. It just shuts itself back off when it's finished. Yeah, I think they're all done now. So 11 minutes on the dot for small chips. Interesting. Now, the great thing is you can flip this latch here, which is a little bit delicate if you ask me. Press the button on the top that looks like an eject button. Can you see that? And then you can lift it up like that. You can even shake them about if you wish to. But we're gonna put them on this plate that you can't see. Can you see it? No, you can't see it. There we are. They look like they're done. Very simple these air fryers. Very good. Now I'll let the um, tray cool off a bit. Now I'm not sponsored. But I'm going to put some of this on. And I'm going to tell you that I'm not sponsored because this stuff is not hugely amazing. But it will do. Put some of that shit on. <laughs> and as per usual, let it all come out at once because the idiots didn't even put the lid on properly. Great. All right, let's see what we got here. Mmm, they are crispy. Mm. None of them are soft, which is one good thing about this because I think this is a very big upgrade to an oven because in the oven, you know, they're greasy so they go everywhere in the oven and then you know you've got to and then you have like probably 10 uncooked chips or some daft hmm they'll bloody do me anyway thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate subscribe subscribe to me if you want to see me stuff my face more often and i'll see you in the next one cheers